Hello Grandview Chargers, this is Miss Glory here wanting to go over an opportunity that the Cherokee Nation has provided for many of our students. This is the Respond, Recover, Rebuild Education Initiative and um, I just want to give you a quick overview of uh, what you can do to receive some funding for our students. You first need to go to Cherokee.org. This is the Cherokee Nation homepage. You're going to scroll down Lots of information here for you guys, but we're looking for this link right here, the Respond, Recover, Rebuild Education Initiative. So you're going to click on this blue link. It's going to take you to this page. All right. We have four bits of information that we um, they, they need from you, need to collect by August 7th for you to be eligible to do this. What is so cool about this is there's two opportunities here. Um, you can receive technology assistance, uh, $400 or up to $750 if you are a concurrently enrolled scholarship student, um, and for the school clothing program. So let's break it down. For the education assistance program, it is for technology. You do not have to live within the 14 county district or jurisdiction. Um, you just have to be a Cherokee Nation citizen between the ages of 5 and 18. You must have a valid uh, CDIB card. Okay, You're going to fill that out. If you've already filled out for the scholarship that really applies to high school students, college students, um, you're automatically enrolled. You don't have to do anything else. However, if you are a school student who hasn't applied for this scholarship, you do need to finish this application and um, you can receive up to $400 to apply directly to technology. The second part, school clothing program. If you have already applied, you've used the paper application, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. You're going, if you qualify, you will receive double what you normally receive, so up to $300. If you don't normally qualify because of um, your income-based guidelines, you will qualify for $150 dollars to help provide clothing for this school year. The restriction here is you must live within the Cherokee Nation jurisdiction, so within the 14 counties. So here's what they're looking for. How did you learn about it? How do you prefer to receive your information? And you're going to hit save and go to next. Here they're looking for some household information. They do have to have your legal parent name, um, your address, uh, Again, because it determines if you receive 150 or 300 on a clothing program or and receive the 400 for technology. Um, it is just asking you yes or no. Are you within the 14 county um, jurisdiction? Now, here's one thing. You don't see the little red star beside email. However, if you have an email, this will get to you quicker. It's easier to access. You can receive updates. If you don't have an email, that is okay. You don't have to. It just makes things move a little faster and easier for you if you do. So you're going to go through there. It's going to go to household demographics, right? How many members or Cherokee Nation citizens in your household? This is the only school question that it is asking for verification of right now. Our public school, private school, homeschool, concurrent enrollment. Do you have any household members that meet this criteria? And then it does ask for your income. Again, this is based for the school clothing voucher. You're going to hit save, go to next. The last little bit of information that you need for the school clothing and for the technology is the child's information. It does need to be their legal name, their date of birth, and so on. Let's say you have more than one kid and your household, you're going to hit the plus sign after you fill it out for the first child. So put the first child, hit the plus sign, you'll see this pop up again for however many children you have in the household. You do have to certify that you are the legal custodial parent or legal guardian for the child being requested. So you can't get on here and apply for everybody in your family unless you are the custodial parent or legal guardian. You're going to sign, you're going to put the verification, and you're going to submit. Once you do that, it goes straight to the Cherokee Nation. They will process all of these. 
um, after August 7th. So don't expect anything before then. However, if you don't get this in before August 7th, you may miss out on this great opportunity. Another um, little bit of information that is helpful that right here at the top of their website, you have frequently asked questions to this initiative. So you're just gonna click right there. And when you do, it'll update you and send you to the frequently asked questions. Um, why are they offering this grant? Mainly because of COVID-19, but it, it, it gives you the answer. You just hit the little arrow and right there, uh, Cherokee families impacted by COVID-19. You can only find this application online. Here are the two links uh, for you to get there. You're not going to find a paper copy of this, guys. Um, is there a number to call that is very important? Yes. Especially if you do not have an email, you're going to want this number to call and check in um, and track your application. Uh, one thing that we have noticed is you need to make sure you receive a verification email. So if you don't have an email, you'll want to call this number to verify that they received your application. Otherwise, it may not have gotten through. So you need to make sure if you do not have an email, call the phone number. If you do have an email, make sure you get the verification email that your application has gone through. The most important thing I can stress here, deadline has to be turned in by August 7th. All right, that is for the school clothing voucher has to be August 7th for both, for this application to apply for both of those things. Um, again, just some questions posted here that a lot of people have already asked and they're able to answer for you. And if your question is not posted here, go to that number, call them directly, um, and hopefully they can ask your question and then they'll post it for the rest of us if we have that same question. Guys, I hope this helps. Um, and if you have any questions, you can reach out directly to Grandview School and uh, we will see what we can do to help you. Thank you and have a great day.